Hey everyone, welcome back to Team Pandory. As legacy video inputs are getting phased out, it is increasingly difficult to hook up older consoles to new TVs and capture cards. For some systems, HDMI dongles are available, but today we'll look at a universal option. The package we got today was from... Bitfunks. They kindly sent us this product today in exchange for a video review. They must be bananas. You make the worst review videos on YouTube. Thanks for that, John. Anyway, we've got a RetroScaler 2X. And I'll read you the back of the box. RetroScaler 2X is a high-quality composite S-Video component video, an analog audio to HDMI transcoder and converter. You can connect your composite or S-Video only systems to your HDTV and enjoy the best possible picture quality from those legacy connections. Would you like a Werther's original? I have one in my pocket. No thanks, John. Snares. Alright, it's time to open the box. What do we got in here? Got this manual. A micro USB cable. You'll need a USB port or adapter for this. And here's the unit. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. And that's it. Nothing else in the box. Before we check the actual unit itself, let's take a look at the manual, which is in English in two other variants. On the first two pages, we have the contents and important safety information. I bought mine from a machine in the public bathroom. Billy Boy's extra sensitive rib. Next page shows a map of the box itself. And outside the power switch, we only have these two buttons to push. One for smoothing mode and the other for input select. Darted for her pleasure. Next page has an explanation of each of the terms used, as well as a short list of all the systems that we can use this on. Next page is instructions and features. And the last is how to hook it up to an OSSC. To do this, we need a few more cables, which we just don't have. Yeah, and that's it. Here's the unit up close, and yeah, it's quite presentable. Down the bottom here, we have the two clicky buttons. On the side here, we have the component as well as S-Video inputs. Turning it around, we have composite and the audio inputs. Then from this box, the video output is HDMI, and the micro USB slot is needed to power the unit. And the on and off switch. And here's the back. Very nice. So yeah, looks pretty good. Let's test this out. The first system we're going to use this with is the PC Engine. The games are stored on these little cards, and the system is pretty remarkable. Much like a Nintendo Game Boy, the on and off switch clips the card in, so we can't pull it out accidentally. For a better video signal, you can get one of these external boards, with a variety of video outputs. We'll first test this with composite going straight to the TV, and then later with the RetroScaler 2X. The composite image doesn't seem too bad, but to change the video aspect, we need to use the TV remote. Much better. Now for the box of tricks. CVBS means we're on composite input, and this 2X indicates an upscale in resolution, also known as line doubling. This blue light here means graphic smoothing is on. If 2X is turned off, it might be difficult for your monitor to find the video display, so you want this most of the time turned on. Outside that, we can cycle through the input modes, pushing this button here. So let's give it a test. On the left part of the screen is the direct image, and on the right is going through the RetroScaler 2X. Let's try and go through all the options available. If we look closely, smoothing is applied when movement is present, which is not the case when going through the RetroScaler 2X. We have a much clearer image. Now with the smooth filtering on. We'll use the TV remote to set it to 4.3. And yes, we get a very pleasing image. The fill option adds smoothing with next to zero difference in input latency. Next up is Mario Kart on the Super Nintendo. Using the composite cable direct to the TV, we get an oversaturated and unclear image. If we use the RetroSkiller 2X, we can see it does help the image somewhat. We do need to remember that Composite is one of the worst choices of video cable, and it's impossible to polish a turd. We can, however, use a third-party system like the Super Retro Trio 3 
that outputs in S-Video, where we can clearly see a big leap in video output quality. Now it's moving on. Next system we're going to check out is PlayStation 1. This is Ridge Racer Revolution. We have two methods of getting composite out. The first one is the OEM PlayStation cable. Did someone spit on the camera lens? I'll get a wet way. We also tried the earlier PlayStation 1's composite out and the video quality seems to be virtually identical. Now let's bring in the Retroscaler 2X. Same as before, most of the improvements can be had by changing up to S-Video. We can see the pixels now, and the picture is again desaturated compared to composite. So the Retroscalar 2X does actually convert image to HDMI without any degradation of the video output, but we did get another product from Bitfunks which converted PlayStation 1 to HDMI. Let's compare both of these solutions using the video capture card. We can see straight away that the PS1 dongle is very dark, but it's actually very fine, whereas the composite running through Retroscalar is very bright, but is actually very blurry. S-Video to Retroscalar 2X has the best image by far. And here's some gameplay. Remember that while none of these are in 4-3 aspect, we can change that with OBS if we wanted to stream or record footage. To get rid of the distortion at the bottom, we can also crop that. For those wanting to display or capture footage of vintage systems, this can be a very affordable option. The Retroscalar 2X is a great little box, and if it had an aspect ratio switch, it'd be perfect. As always, here's a big thank you to all of those on our Patreon. We appreciate all of your support, and all of the funds collected go straight back into the Pandori project, where we fix cheap Chinese arcade boxes, as well as the A500 Mini. We also create video reviews on the YouTube, as well as tutorials and guides. It's me, John Luke. Don't forget to like, <laughs> subscribe, this isn't it. That's right. This is Amy Chicken from Team Pandory. I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra. <laughs>